Uh, this message is for all the Uber investors and all the executives that work at Uber as well as upper management. Your verification system doesn't work. So this 37 year old, you can see him on the thumbnail. His name is Kenneth Shear. Um, he murdered his wife who was 20 years his senior. She was 57, he's 37. Breaks into the house, pushes the air conditioning unit in, removes all the cameras, uh, puts all of that stuff in the toilet, including three cell phones. Um, how he got busted, uh, police tracked his Uber ride back to her house, same time of the killing. And Uber comes out with this worldwide press release that they have this new magnificent uh, verification process. I want to remind drivers, not food delivery drivers, but rideshare drivers, and that goes for Uber and Lyft. We have felons, criminals, and murderers in our cars today. Today. They're in our cars today because this flawed verification system ain't working, Darrell Koshashawi. And investors, if you get sold on some BS story that the company that you're putting all this money into is actually doing something about safety or security, think again. You do nothing. You're not checking Kenneth Shear's background criminal background. In fact, he has quite an extensive criminal background of abuse. Interesting, that didn't show up in your verification process, right? You claim to check the database, but I question your database. It's probably some third-party database by a company. Uh, it doesn't list all of those criminals and killers in the database. And by the way, if these criminals or murderers don't want to uh, upload their ID or their passport or have that part of the process verified, they don't have to. All that happens is that the tiniest, tiniest little asterisk, tiniest little blue icon doesn't appear, which if the driver can actually see that tiny little detail, it just means that that individual hasn't been verified. So please don't come out and talk about a verification process when a 37-year-old Kenneth Shear with a pretty extensive criminal background can use your car, your Uber ride, be in the back of our vehicle, drive to his wife's house, who's 20 years his senior, and kill her. That basically tells me, dear investor and dear executive and dear Dara Koshashawi, your verification process means shit, right? It just doesn't exist. And here they are going out, pushing out press releases, misinforming, misguiding the passengers and riders. And dear, right, if you're in a shared trip, right, if you are in a shared trip, there is a high possibility you may be sitting next to a killer right? Because the verification process doesn't work. And shared trips are just straight up dangerous, not just for the driver, but also for the other rider, because there is no verification process. And once again, Kenneth Shear murdering his wife, sitting in, in the back of our car, the driver actually drives him to her house. And he kills her there. So you tell me, Dara, how much verification is in that process? We need to verify your brain cells, Dara Kosha, shall we? Are they still intact? Tony West, are your brain cells still intact? All those investors that put monies in, that's what we need to verify, your brain cells, because something up there is loose. When you have to go out, lie to the rest of the world, that you have this safety and security system in place. Drivers know it doesn't work. Drivers know that they have to go out and maybe arm themselves, right? Buy a gun or get a taser 
or get pepper spray. Hazard reported ahead on San Diego Freeway in a quarter mile. You're still on the fastest route. The companies fail us time and time and time again. They fail us. We have carjackers in our, in our cars. We have criminals in our cars. We have killers in our cars. We have ex-felons in our cars. We have people with quite an extensive criminal history in our cars. And your database? What database? I mean, what database do you have, right? Maybe you want to share. Love to interview the guys that do safety and security. That's where I come from. I mean, South Africa is probably one of the highest murder and rape rates in the world. Um, I had my safety and security company there, you know, armed security. Um, also spent three years in the army. That, that's where you get your training. What these little Mickey Mouse idiots are trying to sell the outside world and trying to sell us drivers. Oh, we've we've implemented some verification process, so you you should you should feel at ease. You should feel good now getting back into your car. We know it doesn't work, and when I say we, the drivers know, your safety and security checks don't work. They bogus. They fabricated to tell the outside world, all politicians, hey, we're actually doing something. Only the person behind the wheel knows if that part that you programmed into that app works and it doesn't work. We've seen it again. Kenneth Shear, 37 year old, killing a 57 year old has once again demonstrated to the rest of the world that Uber's verification process is bogus. It's absolutely bogus. And the reason why I can claim with confidence that it's bogus is that he has an extensive criminal record, as do many other passengers and riders out there in our cars. They have an extensive criminal record, which should show up in these databases that Uber apparently cross-references. But sadly enough, these individuals end up in the back of our cars with, with quite a history and then also potentially killing us the driver or stealing our car. You got to do better Dara Koshashawi investors, you got to do better. You are failing 6 million drivers around the world, both David Risha and Dara Koshashawi. We know that you are whores for every penny and you nickel and dime and you take from the riders and you steal from the drivers. But man, do you really want to appear in the news daily, every single day, over a murder, over a carjacking, over Kenneth Shear's murder, where he took a car home to kill his wife? Is that what you guys want to have running in the news cycle every single day? You gotta do better. And investors, and I'm talking about these investors at Vanguard, all these big big companies that have put billions of dollars into uber really you ceos you believe that the crap that uber and lyft is programming keeps drivers safe you better think again at the next shareholder meeting right you may want to ask these executives why do we appear in the news cycle on on tv every single day in the newspapers uh, for the same, same issue, and I'll tell you why. Here's the short answer. Your system does not work. Your verification system does not work. There is no safety. There is no security. It's time to pull up your big boy pants and do better. Grab your wallets and start getting your credit cards out and start programming, paying your programmers to put decent safety procedures in place. Hire experts, not idiots. You're hiring idiots that have no clue. I mean, I've, I've, I've checked the backgrounds of their security officers. They are a joke compared to what real people that know about security and know about programming and know about accessing data. Their systems are a joke, my friend. So they got to do better. Please share, please share. We cannot allow daily murders, daily carjackings, daily assaults,
daily rapes, daily sexual abuse to happen in our cars. We need to end it yesterday. Your comments, please.